Hello YouTube, how do you do? My name is Monkai and this is my vlog guy. I got asked a question while I was at work today. How do you become a vlogger? I was like, huh? Um, I don't know. Why? What have you heard? And they were like, we've seen your videos. <laughs> so you know who you are. You're the inspiration for this vlog. Hey, Vlogging. What is vlogging to begin with? Vlogging is a video blog. Uh, basically it's like writing a blog or a diary and then talking about it in front of the camera instead of writing it in a book. So if you're gonna start vlogging, or you're gonna start making videos for YouTube, first thing you need to do is have a subject to talk about. Now I miss this part a lot because I just talk about random crap like I am doing now. But that's the, probably one of the best things to have. It can pretty much be anything. Yeah, it can be pretty much about anything you want as long as it's not illegal, boring, or insulting to anybody. Take a gander over YouTube. Have a look around YouTube. Check out other vloggers. See what they're doing. Check out people like Chow You So Cool. Like, look at their first videos and see what they did. Dan is not on fire. A really good one is uh, is uh, Amazing Phil. Uh, his first videos were rubbish, but he did them so long ago that he's now like a granddad of vloggers, and it's pretty funny. Ding! You need to get yourself a freaking YouTube account. Basically, what you want to do is you want to make a channel. You want to get a channel that has a channel name that is really catchy and people will remember and it will stick in the back of people's heads. That's probably a really good idea. I should have done thought of that before I named myself Monko. Before you post your first video, I would recommend you make about 8 to 10 really good videos. This is important because one, it will make sure that you know, you'll get used to talking to this. This is a camera. And believe me, sometimes it's quite hard to talk to the camera. You don't know what you're going to say until you actually say it. And sometimes you can be quiet and bad, it seems. Number two, it means that you've got content to go out. So yeah, eight to ten videos. Make sure they're not boring. Make sure they're really good. Uh, make sure that they're, you know, you're, you're confident in front of this camera. I mean, it took me about, I'd say about eight months before I actually got properly confident to talk to you about anything. You want to post videos that are related to other videos. So find a really big, massive YouTuber, like let's just pick one off the top of my head, Tobuscus, ha! Pick Tobuscus for example. You find a video that you like of his and then you make a response video or make a video that is kind of the same subject as that video and then post it as a response to his video. One fifth of their viewers will see your video and will watch it and hopefully that will push those views up. Although, because I've been to YouTube Academy, I know that it's not all about views now, people. <laughs> it is a lot about watch time. You have to be active on your channel. Like, you have to show people that you were doing stuff on your channel. Like, get a schedule planned and show people that you're gonna keep to it, you know? Put out one video a week, make it Wednesday. It can be wanking Wednesdays. I'm not doing that, by the way. Never gonna do that. Make sure that you've got this really regular schedule and you're gonna stick to it, you know? Do not disappear from it. Like, one day, don't just go, oh, I can't be asked today. Like, just do it. Seriously, people will appreciate this constant flow of content that you're releasing. It's true. Read that goddamn handbook. Like, I swear to God, the best thing you can do is do research into YouTube and how YouTube works. And lastly, Communicate with your followers. You want to talk to the people that are watching, which is pretty much what vlogging is. Like I can say, hi Reese, hi Wedge, and that's communicating with my followers, you know? But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I know I'm not like, I'm probably not the best person to give advice about how to become a vlogger. I did it because I wanted to do something that I saw somebody else do. This is me trying to teach you how to do that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go now. I've been a monkey. This has been my blogger. Who knows I'm gonna close the vlog with my nose because that's the way a monkey rolls. It's freaking every day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.
Yeah, Mikey, just edit that out.